Good morning, happy 4th of July. Uh, so I just, I, we had a good service this morning in church and I just, I really appreciated the message. Um, we had our youth pastor speaking instead of our regular pastor. He's on vacation, well-deserved. You know, pastors work hard and they need breaks, you know. Uh, so anyways, our youth pastor was doing the message and he did a very good job as far as he went. And that is my issue because, and, and it's not his fault. I'm just wired differently, okay? And I think differently. And I take things a little bit deeper. Um, so, hey, I'm just, I really get how Martin Luther felt when he wrote out his 99 thesis. And I wonder, did he talk to anybody? I mean, who could he have talked to? Was it, I need to do a study on the life of Martin Luther or something, because I've got to figure out who did he talk to before he wrote these up? Did he just out of the blue, out of nowhere, say, hey, you know, I think I, I, I disagree with everything the church is saying. I, well, not everything, but I disagree with so much. And, and the Bible disagrees with so much. And, and, you know, how can we resolve this? And did he just take his thoughts and, you know, not talk to anybody, but just all of a sudden imitate a prophet of the Old Testament and, and nail his writing to the door of the cathedral i mean surely there's more to the story there's got to be more to the story it seems like there's always more to the story there's more that is not being mentioned because everybody's telling the wrong story they're telling this they're telling that they're telling the other but they're not they're missing the point you know and maybe it's not about you know somebody's foolish speech when they were 17 and maybe it is about the, the you know the brothers who were just wrong and, and behaved just horribly maybe that's what it's about you know and it's not the father's fault for you know recognizing good behavior Maybe it's a sibling's fault for not behaving right to begin with, you know. Maybe the problem isn't that we have people ignoring the rules and doing what they want to do. Maybe the problem is we have people adding a bunch of rules that aren't meant to be there. And saying, oh, well, my opinion is the law. My opinion, what I think is what's important. You know, what the Bible says, that's not what's important. But what I think, that's what's important, you know. And I'm going to define sin according to my personal opinion of the culture I grew up in. That's how we're going to define sin. We're not going to define sin according to what the Bible says. Because I don't agree with the Bible. And so the Bible's got to be wrong. What? Seriously? What does the Bible say? You know, I'm sorry. If your answer doesn't start with, what does the Bible say? Then, what good is your answer? If, if you're not referring to the Bible, and, and using the Bible as your, your directory, as, as the source of your direction, you know, Whatever you want to call it. And forgive my ineptitude in speech. Alright? I never went to college. I never took a speech class. I can barely speak at all. You know? That's not the point. The point is, the Bible is reigns supreme. It should reign supreme, but it doesn't reign supreme. Because we're too caught up in what other people might be doing wrong. And we're not focused on ourselves. We're too caught up in saying, oh, well, this is my opinion. 
and, and not enough on, well, what does the Bible say? And when we go to the Bible and we read what it says and we follow what it says, we'll be a lot happier. Until we get to the point where other people are saying, oh, just my opinion. Well, I think, who cares what you think? What does the Bible say? Tell me what the Bible says. And tell me over and over and over and over and over and over. I don't want to hear anything but what the Bible says. If you're not telling me I'm wrong because of what the Bible says, then you're not really telling me I'm wrong. You're just telling me you're right. You, you're, you're displaying your pride. You're not correcting me. You're just... You know... But don't mind the crazy guy. Don't mind the, don't mind the crazy guy, because you know crazy guys don't know nothing. They walk the, down the street and they're just talking straight to themselves. They're crazy. Y'all have a good Fourth of July. Don't burn yourself.